Hey, what's up everyone? It's your girl Rainy Shanae, and today I'm going to be introducing my March TBR, so please stay tuned. Every single day. So like I said, I'm going to be introducing my March TBR. I'm sorry it's late, but I better late than never, right? So the first book that I have for my TBR is The Poet X by Elizabeth Espedito. And I really like this, like, I like the color of this book. I like the cover, colors, everything about this book. And let me go ahead and read the synopsis so I can let you know what it's about. So it says, See Amara Batista feels unheard and unable to hide in Harlem in her Harlem neighborhood. Ever since her body grew into curb, she has learned to let her fist and her fierceness do the talking. But Siamara has plenty she wants to say and she pours her frustration onto the pages of a leather notebook. Reciting the words to her, herself like prayers, especially after she catches feelings for a boy in her bio class, with mommy's determination to force her daughter to obey the laws of the church, Siamara understands that her thoughts are best kept to herself. When she when she is invited to join her school's slam poetry club, she knows that she can never get around mommy's rules to attend, much less speak her words out loud. But still, she can't stop thinking about performing her poems because in spite of, of a world that may not want to hear her, Siamara refuses to be silent. So there you go. So I'm really excited to read this book and also the format it's based in verse so everything is written in verse so it's gonna be pretty much a quick read for me so I'm definitely excited to read this I know back in February people have read this for um, Blackathon so I'm pretty much interested in reading it myself so I can get on the bandwagon so this is the first book for March TBR and the next book on my TBR is it recently just came out and it is called The Opposite of Always by Jason, Justin A. Reynolds. And he is from Ohio, by the way. So he's represented. So here is the cover. And here is the back. And let me go ahead and read the synopsis for you so you know what this one is about. So it says, Jack Ellison King, King of Almost. He almost made valedictorian. He almost made varsity. He almost got the girl until... When Jack and Kate meet at a party, bonding until sunrise over their mutual love of Fruit Loops and their favorite flicks, Jack knows he's falling hard. Soon she's meeting his best friends, Jillian and Franny, and Kate wins them over as easily as she did Jack. Jack's curse of almost is finally over. But this love story is complicated. It is an almost happily ever after. Because Kate dies. And their story should end there. Yet Kate's death sends Jack back to the beginning, the moment they first meet, and Kate's there again. Beautiful, radiant Kate. Healthy, happy, and charming as ever. Jack isn't sure if he if he's losing his mind. Still, if he has a chance to prevent Kate's death, he'll take it, even if that means believing in time travel. However, Jack will learn that his actions are not without consequences. And when one choice turns deadly for someone else close to him, he has to figure out what he's willing to do and let go to save the people he loves. From debut author Justin A. Reynolds comes a razor sharp, hilarious, and heartfelt novel about the choices we make, the people we choose, and the moments that make a life worth reliving. So this is a very deep book and it's hilarious and even says on the top, Jack King is the hero we've been waiting for and that was said by Angie Thomas and then on here it says wise heartfelt and infinitely charming and that was said by Becky Albertalli so you know this is going to be a great book and I'm super excited to get my hands on this and read it so yeah so this is my next one and even on the back it says this is a book about two teens who fall in love over cereal about a boy stuck in a time loop and the moments that make a life worth reliving so I'm super excited to read this. I'm a, like, I love love stories. You know, I don't like the happy, happily ever after endings though because they're sort of cliche. But I'm definitely excited to get my hands on this. And because this is by Justin A. Reynolds and he is from Ohio. So I definitely got to read this now. So it's like he's representing Ohio. I got to represent him and pretty much read his book because 
I'm super stoked about this but here is this one this is my second book the next book that I'm going to be reading in March which I might not be finishing in March it's gonna be probably all the way in April when I like finish this book because it is humongous I even joined um, the group um, pretty much the group reading or the buddy reading for this particular book from the novel Lush and I'm on her chat right now and so with that is the Priory of the Orange Tree and this was and this is um, by Samantha and Sh Samantha Shannon and look how big this book is you guys look how big like seriously seriously <laughs> it is humongous and I got this from Barnes and Noble of course where it says the 20% off members save extra 10% so let's go ahead and let me read the synopsis for you so you can see what it and read and hear what it's about and what the rave is about this book. And it says, a world divided, a queendom without an heir, an ancient enemy awakens. The house of Baronet has ruled in us for a thousand years. Still unwed, King Sabron or Queen Sabron the Ninth must conceive a daughter to protect her realm from destruction. But assassins are getting closer to her door. Iad Dorian is an outsider at court. Though she has risen to the position of lady-in-waiting, she is loyal to a hidden society of mages. Eid keeps a watchful eye on Sabron, secretly protecting her with forbidden magic. Across the Dark Sea, Tane has trained all her life to be a dragon rider, but is forced to make a choice that could see her life unravel. Meanwhile, the divided East and West refuse to parley, or parley and forces of chaos are rising from their sleep. So this is really this is really interesting, um, just because it's a lot of chaos. It's about a kingdom. I'm all about kingdoms. I'm all about dragons, everything like that. Um, pretty much, you you already know this because I love my Game of Thrones, and so I'm really excited to get my hands on this. So yes, so that is it, you guys. I have a total of three books for my TBR. So here you go. These are the three books that I'm going to. Woo, woo, woo. <laughs> I caught it. So, these are the three books that I'm going to be reading in March. This is my TBR. All, uh, all together, I feel like it's four books because look how big this book is. It is humongous, you guys. Just look at it. Humongous. But that is my TBR for March. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. Also, hit the subscribe button and that bell so you can be notified when I upload more videos in the future. But thank you so much, you guys. See ya.